Welcome, beautiful souls, divine souls. I am 1111 Latasha MD, the 1111 Divine Life Oracle. This is a very prophetic word that I want to share with you at this time because what you're experiencing is not something that you're going to allow to defeat you. You are being tested. You are experiencing temptations. And the reason this is because it is there to see if there's true righteousness that resides within you. Before we get further into this word, I want to go ahead and focus on these scriptures. All right, give me just a second. Starting off with Ephesians 6.13. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the devil, when the day, wow, it is happening, when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. Also, James 1 and 3, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let's stop there for now. Focusing on these two scriptures. You could be someone where you are focusing on doing the right things, doing right by people, doing right by yourself. And you may wonder, why is it that these tests, these temptations are happening, are coming up to me? This is a part of what is happening in this earth realm. Because there are so many people that have fallen short to the call on their soul. They have turned away from the truth and decided that instead of focusing on doing the right thing, they want to do what society at large is doing. Although they see that some of these people are experiencing misery, they're experiencing their own deaths and destructions, they still think that somehow they're going to obfuscate this series of events happening to them. And so oftentimes when you're focusing on being righteous, which is why there's there's a lot of people that reject focusing on the light, focusing on doing the right things when so many others are doing the wrong thing, because it's easy to fall into that trap. The temptations that present themselves in your life have an ability to pull you into that crowd that so many others have fallen into. And so I'm here to shed light for you at this time, to give you encouragement to stay true to the straight and narrow path. As we focus back on Ephesians 6 and 13, therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, this is why it's so important for you to guard your ears your ear gates and your eye gates because you could be in a situation where especially during this time a lot of people are struggling with these increased rates like inflation is very like extreme right now so many things are expensive and you could be in a situation where you have to really budget your resources and there may be others that try to tempt you with, you know, you can get this fast money if you do these things online. You know, if you um, if you deal with this person, you may be able to get fast money with that. Like there are so many different temptations that may present itself. But your true test of character is when you're being tempted with something. Understand that the creator God, the universe is omnipresent, is all around. Jesus is allowing you to experience these things because too, Jesus has experienced these things. All the great teachers have experienced some level of test and temptations, but how will you perform under these pressures? Will you allow these pressures to take you out of your divinity? Will you allow these things to separate you from your righteousness? Or will, will you show that you actually embody the righteousness? And so this is how you're going to win against the temptations that present itself. When you focus on 
your goal that you have for your life when you focus on what it is that you're manifesting if you're manifesting as we speak on this channel the divine life if you're manifesting that divine life for yourself understand that at some point to get to that divinity you may have to go through a time and space of darkness of despair you know you may even go through some level of poverty you may go through homelessness you may go through being ostracized you may go through you know being isolated these things can present temptations for you where you may feel that well if i do this you know i may be able to achieve my goal but oftentimes when you are tempted into doing certain things and you know it doesn't align with your soul when you know it doesn't align with your character you're going to lose it and it, sometimes you may not lose those particular things but you may be riddled with misery you made me riddled with guilt because you knew truly in your soul and in your heart that this was not the right way to go like i mentioned about resources when i mentioned about money during this time there is a strong sense of temptation on those of us that choose to walk that straight and narrow path those that are the chosen ones especially in context with wanting to have a life that has peace and flow. In order to have that peace and flow, you have to have stability. And so, especially in context with being a woman during this day and age where, you know, hypergamy is really pushed on all of us. And actually, that is really manipulative if you really think about it if you have to step outside of who you truly are in order to get certain things from people understand that there that is a double-edged sword spirit wants you to have the reassurance that your faith will meet you where you are i've gone through so many situations in my life and i've had a lot of amazing situations happen in my life but i've had some times where i've been tested where i faced temptation but that those temptations actually been able to bring forth the righteousness within me by me passing those tests, by me saying that I, you know, being committed to being committed to the conviction within my soul that by me choosing to do the right thing when so many people do the wrong thing, when it's easier for many to do the wrong thing, I've always come out on top. Another thing I want to share with you too, as you are separating yourself from the flock, when you're separating yourself from that hive mind mentality, group thing, what everybody else is doing, and because you know that it's not fulfilling, you know that there's many people that are really acting and getting played, literally. When you've decided to separate yourself from that and go your own way, know that you're not going to suffer. Oftentimes people suffer because they don't know how to actually experience being present. When you get into that space of affirming what it is that you see for your life, when you get into the knowing that, you know, all is well, when you choose God, when you choose righteousness, God is going to meet you. Those temptations, those tests are really a facade. And trust and know that you are in alignment with divine timing when you keep yourself prepared by guarding your ear and your eye gates the things that you're watching the things that you're listening to are calibrating your mind to what it is that you may fall victim to and another thing about manifesting which is very much a key aspect into you defeating these temptations when you focus on negative aspects about life when you may go through things that may seem unfair or when you go through things that may seem unjust and you allow yourself to rise above those things by you doing so you allow yourself to level up your energy you allow yourself to actually bring forth positive manifestations but when you focus on lack when you focus on poverty when you focus on what you're seeing in your current reality within this 3d illusion you can allow yourself to have a downward spiral you can allow yourself to unfortunately give into those temptations 
what is being called on you to right now is to keep that full armor of God on you. Keep yourself protected. Feed yourself positive affirmations. Allow yourself to tune out negativity. Allow yourself not to be because there's those that see the light within you oftentimes. And they may try to tempt you to react. They may try to tempt you to do things that you know is not right for you. Resist evil. Stand your ground and know that God is going to meet you. Again, as we focus on the next scripture, James 1 and 3, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. This is assuring you that you're being strengthened through these tests, through these temptations. And as someone that has, you know, I've I've had many lessons in my life and I've always been able to have a life of peace and a life of stability, no matter what season I may have gone through where there may have been a valley situation in my life. I've been able to ascend out of that valley and know that there was value in those seasons. There was aspects of myself that was actually able to mature more into my true God itself in those times. Also, let's move on to the next scripture, James 1 and 12. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. When you're going through situations in your life and you feel as if there's a lot of pressure mounting, when right before your breakthrough happened, right before your blessings manifest, this is when things may seem as if they're coming to a head. Spirit is wanting you to understand. God is wanting you to understand. Jesus wants you to understand. Divine Mother, the universe wants you to understand that it's already taken care of. It's already yours. It's about you having the faith and the foresight of knowing that you are being forged within the fire that's happening. You are being molded. You are being prepared for greater. And oftentimes, we as children of God, of the Most High, we are sent in this earth realm, in these environments, so that you can be an example of how someone that honors the Creator, honors the universe, honors God, Jesus, Divine Mother, you are an example of how to walk this walk. This is how you are a light worker. This is your this is your spiritual work that's being played out in real time. And so even if you are in the midst of situations in, even in context with relationships, if you're going through something within your relationship dynamics, spirit is urging you to not be tempted. To not allow yourself to fall victim to the test of your ego. If someone does something to you, especially in context with relationships and love, if someone does something hurtful to you, oftentimes people that administer hurt is because they have hurt within themselves. And another aspect of that is, unfortunately, what others give out to you that may seem very harsh and hurtful is all that they have to give. It is the the it is the it is what they have grown. To understand that is how you relate to others that is their love language unfortunately and by you mirroring the appropriate behaviors this is how you bring about healing to others while you're going through different tests and temptations in your life even in context with it and I'll share this especially in regard to those of us that you know you may have been put in different situations in your life where you know, you don't have anyone in this earthly realm to count on but yourself. And you're wondering, like, God, I'm doing I'm, I'm doing my best to do the right things. I'm making the right choices. Why is it that I'm going through these things? Stay focused. Stay true. Help is on the way. God is providing a way out of no way for you. This is when your manifestations show up in your life. Oftentimes, it's, it is you standing true to your light is what is bringing these manifestations closer. So if you're in a situation where you may have applied to so many different jobs, you may have gotten these jobs not able to stay there 
because your light is too bright. You may have gone through this time and time again. You're like, how am I going to make it? But you always make it. Rely on affirming only the best for you. Utilize affirmations such as, and I'll share a few here. Isn't it so amazing that God is my source of all abundance and money, love, and health? I am divinely protected. I am divinely provided for. God, the creator, is my CEO. I am I am provided for so abundantly I want for nothing. I don't have to worry. God provides for every need and want. Another affirmation you can utilize is I am no longer a victim of my past. Let's continue with a few more. I trust the purpose of my journey. I choose a life of leisure and stability now. I am experiencing a life of leisure, love, and stability now. I have persevered through difficult times, and I now experience the blessings of God it has for me and for those that love me. This is how you stand in a gap for yourself. This is how you allow yourself to succeed against all odds and rebuke those temptations for instance before i became monetized and i'm so grateful that i'm monetized on youtube you know this is a stable source of income that i receive just by me sharing prophetic words just by me sharing sharing my light and i'm grateful that i reach hundreds of thousands if not millions of people that's, you know, I, I am being a messenger of God. I am providing angel messages. And before I became monetized, you know, there was some times where I was not sure, like, how, how am I going to make it? And then I had to get into the forefront of that and reframe my perspective, not be tempted with, with what I was seeing in my 3D, but resist that temptation and saying that I'm, I'm making it. God is my constant supplier. God provides for me in each and every way. I am loved. I am provided. I am protected. This is how you stand in the gap for yourself. Also, let's go ahead to the very last scripture here in 1 Timothy 6 and 9. Last but not least, those who want to get rich fall into temptation and trap in a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. Now, I have OnlyFans listed on this uh, thumbnail for a reason. And that is because, you know, this is why it's so important to to avoid sharing your dreams with those that can't see that vision for themselves. Oftentimes it's important to keep those visions and your dreams personal to yourself. Because, you know, before I got monetized, and I must say once again, like I, I do my best to try to give gratitude anytime I feel the urge to. I am so grateful that, <laughs> I'm so grateful that I'm rich. I'm so grateful that I'm rich in spirit. I'm rich in money. I'm rich in love. I'm so grateful that I am monetized for simply sharing my truth and I receive way more than I can even imagine every week, every every month from this YouTube. Like it is is a it's a blessing. God's blessings. But anyway, so before I got monetized, you know, I shared with someone that I thought was close to me about this, you know, not necessarily understanding when it was going to happen and you know this person encouraged me that well you're beautiful why don't you why don't you you know show your body more you know you have a very beautiful shape why don't you show your body more you know that always sells if you're going to be online truly be online and this really caught me off guard because this is someone I really value their opinion really it, it was it was really it, it set me back a bit it was very disheartening but instead of me falling for that temptation because naturally i know that i would have gotten monetized a lot quicker i knew that i would have gained way more followers if i put myself out there in that light but that's not who i am 
that's not the legacy I want to leave behind. That's not the digital footprint that I want to leave behind. I'm not only I'm not only a woman of of, of, of prestige. I'm not only a, a a goddess. I am a mother. I am a I'm a wife. I'm a mother. And I don't want to bring disharmony and I want to bring shame to my husband. I don't want to bring shame to myself or my children. So it's just like all of that presented itself because there were several other people that have mentioned that to me as well. Like, you know, show show off your goods. But just as scripture says here for first Timothy six and nine, those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and are into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. There are so many people that are able to get rich quickly through these channels or these apps such as OnlyFans and, and other similar. But in their pursuit to get this wealth, they lose their soul. They they cause themselves to actually fall into that very trap. And so I decided to stay true to myself. I decided to remain righteous. And that in itself, me staying true to the straight and narrow, me maintaining my integrity, that was a lesson for this person as well that tried to present this temptation for me. It's time for you to understand that you are not experiencing none of these situations in your life in vain. All these experiences in your life are to bring you into a divine alignment with your life purpose. The test that you are experiencing will soon show up as a testimony. Be encouraged, stay true to the light, and always by power you and thrive. I am. Latasha MD, B1111 Divine Life Oracle. Bye, y'all.